to set the stage. This young man, uh, of course, is one of our mentees, and he's been phenomenal over the years. And I'd like to have Hank Stewart come set the stage. I gotta give it up to my mentor. Y'all give Mr. George a huge round of applause. That's my view. Protocol is established. I, I want to just say, uh, you know, to the president, thank you for allowing us to be here. And my two sisters, uh, Melanie and, and Deborah down there, thank you all for always being there. What are you giving me? What are you putting in my hand? What you're giving me has just established as a change of plan. Why are you looking at me like that? There's this look in your eye. Am I even qualified to accept this? Would there be a ceremony? Do I need cap and gown? Need I be baptized? I know you're tired. I know you need to deserve rest. How can I say no with all that you poured into me, all that you've invested? I'll take it. OK, I'll take the baton. I'll carry the torch. You've earned the right to relax, the right to sit on the porch. I accept the baton and all the responsibilities that it holds. I accept the challenge to stand tall and bold, to fight for justice, to stand on the wall. I do what needs to be done, yes, I accept the call. And integrity will stand with me, even with the stand alone, to speak truth, no matter who's wrong. You fought the good fight. You completed your assignment, passed me the baton, our souls are in alignment. I'll sacrifice my body just like you. I'll stand or kneel against racism, sexism, discrimination, regardless of the hue. I'll get up early and I'll stay up later when it's my time to be tested, just like you, I won't take the bait. I accept the baton because it's my turn. I accept for all of my ancestors who were raped, beaten, those who were burned. I accept because before midnight, December the 31st, 1862, our ancestors were praying to God on their knees. I accept for all of our ancestors who were hung from those trees. I accept because dogs and mortals didn't turn you around. I accept because our ancestors spoke up and spoke out, even when they didn't know the language. They didn't know a person, place, or a thing was a noun. I accept because at the bottom of that bridge, you were beaten and left for dead. Broken bones, tear gas, blood dripping down your head. I accept because you sat when you had tied your feet. I said because the only way we could walk into that hotel was through the back door, and it was only to watch dishes cook on the bed change the sheets. I said because America was built on the land that our ancestors tore. I stand because our ancestors' blood fertilized these soils. So if it rains, I stand. If it's hot, no fan, I stand with the weight on my shoulders. But the foundation that I stand on makes me bolder. I stand for those who didn't get a chance. I stand for those who died because a white woman said to me he took a glance. I even stand for those who look like me but may have forgotten. Although our ancestors were side by side in the fields picking cotton. Hmm. I stand for seniors, I stand for children, I fight for one, I advocate for millions. I stand for those ancestral dreams of freedom, they would hold fast. I stand for so many of our ancestors who died for this country, and the flag was never flown for them at half staff or half mass. I stand for those living under bridges and sleeping on makeshift pallets. I stand because our ancestors knew our voice was in the census, it was in our vote, it was in the booth, it was on the ballot. So yea, though I walk through the valleys and the shadows of death, it's about others now, no longer about self. Give me the baton I carry with pride. I won't let the torch burn out the baton hit the ground, even when I'm tired. You train me. Now I'm one of your lieutenants. I take the baton from my ancestors, so one day I can pass it to our descendants. I accept, do you? That's just George's own Fort Lauderdale. And, and so now, I have the great pleasure of bringing to the stage a man who has been phenomenal. I had the pleasure of sitting on the search committee, and we looked long and far. And of course, I knew about him. I had to go down and see all the great work he was doing at Miles College in Alabama. And I figured he could raise a hundred million in Birmingham, Miles College. 